What's up, YouTube? Here at Parks Casino with Ben Salem, Philadelphia. When I pull up to the front of the casino, the first thing I notice is how dope the lights look. But enough of that. Let's cue the intro. Peace and blessings, everybody. You know it's your boy, Ponchi Trendy, here with the Ponchi Trendy Poker Channel. And it's a very special vlog today. It's my B-Day vlog. Um, my first vlog on my channel. Um, we're gonna get into these hands. We're here at the Parks Casino. One playing one three. Come catch the vibes. Let's get into these hands. I didn't get a chance to record it because I was setting up, but I have ace jack of spades under the gun. I raised the 15, everyone folds. Alright, so you know what we have for the second hand. We have the infamous Big Slick. So we have Big Slick on the button here, and um, under the gun raises to $6. Three players called to me. I'm definitely loving this spot, so I choose to race to 22. Only an older Asian guy calls in the small blinds. We are heads up. Um, considering that he calls from the small blind, I'm putting him on some marginal hands, some Broadway cards, um, some small two pairs. Um, so, off to the flop. He dark checks to me, which I thought was incredibly interesting. Um, and the flop is 10 of clubs, 10 of spades, I mean 10 of diamonds, 3 of spades, I check. I think this is where I make my first mistake, I should be betting a good percentage of the time. The turn is the 10 of spades. This is a very interesting card because it pairs the board, um, but I call his $20 bet. Um, the river is a seven of spades, and it's an interesting card again because now the flush comes in. Um, so a lot of times ace high could be good here, and I didn't really know the players considering this was my second hand. So he could have some small pairs and broadways, but I flick in the call. And uh, this old Asian guy shows me uh, the ducks. And I'm like, shit, I could have got him off of that hand if I bet. But, alright. So, off to the third hand here. And I'm seeing Deja Vu because I have Big Slick again. But this time of a suited variety. So I'm definitely happy. Because um, this hand is definitely a very strong hand. Um, so, um, the player in the low jack decides to race to $10. And um, four players call. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is a great position. Um, so many players are calling, and I have this great hand, so I'm not taking this multi way. So I decide to raise to $50. I think should should do it. Um, if players, if everybody folds, it's great. But at the same time, if we can get a heads up, that's the ideal situation. So I raised to 50, and the player in the low jack thinks for a second, and he folds. Um, the other four players kind of tank one after the other, look at me weird, <laughs> considering, like I said, I'm the new player at the table, but um, eventually everyone folds, and I take it down. Great way to start the session. All right, off to the next hand, and we are looking at the Cowboys. Definitely happy about this hand because I've been playing for about half an hour, 45 
five minutes after the ace kings and i haven't picked up any good hands so um let's get it uh so a player under the gun races to six and um a player who i'm going to tag nervous player <laughs> in this hand on the button calls six and um i'm thinking to myself all right this is a good spot for me to uh free bet and my thoughts on the free bet is that um the short stack player is short so i might as well um free bet and hopefully i can get stacks in by the flop um and with the deep stack player being in but if he picks up the hand um we're getting stacks in no matter what so um under the gun calls 40 and uh the button comes along too so this is definitely going to be a good hand here with a lot of chips in the middle so we're looking to flop something big and i'm pretty much shoving on any flop favorable flop so it doesn't matter um so we're off to the flop and the flop comes a good one eight of hearts four of clubs two of hearts so considering that this flop has two hearts on it. I don't take much time to think and I shove and I'm gonna let you guys listen to the audio. All in for less. I'm not all in for less. Need a lot of help. <coughs> 146. Oh, 146. You have, what do you have? Do you have a pair? <laughs> no. Okay. 62. So I'm a half so I'll take 62 from no everybody hearts. into the main pot. No hearts. Or ace. Is it no hearts or low hearts? No hearts. No hearts. No hearts. I'll take a three, three and a five. Oh, you're chasing. <laughs> Ow. Oh, yeah, no hearts. Please. No hearts. $13 in pain. Do you have anything on them? No, no. Main pot and then sub pot. All right, so in this next hand, I have the snowman, like the rapper Jeezy would say. Um, in the cutoff, I have pocket eights, and um, a player in middle position, uh, who I will call the Russian deep stack because he's Russian and he's deep stack. He bets 11 and the button calls and um, small blind calls as well. And we are four ways to a flop. And um, the flop is queen of hearts, seven of hearts, three of hearts. <laughs> what a monotone board. Um, everybody checks, which I would expect. And then on the turn is another heart, which is the two of hearts. And everybody checks again. Um, so really no betting going on. And the river is the seven of clubs. It checks round and round again. And um, I know my hand's not good here. Player to the left shows pocket fives with the five of hearts. And another player shows the nine of hearts and takes it down. All right, so next hand. Ace, four of spades, and we are in middle position. Um, a player under the gun raises to 12, and two other players call. Obviously, I call, I have an ace with the nutter butters, so I'm not going anywhere. Um, and the flop comes a pretty good one. It comes 10 of hearts, eight of spades, king of spades. So, Flop the nut flush draw, um, checks the hijack, hijack bets 17, and I think for a second about check raise him, but I don't. Um, I just called 17, and middle position calls too. I'm thinking with this call that I can just keep in a lot of kings, and um, I don't want to blow the pot until I hit my hand, which I think is a mistake, but the turn comes. The magical gym card, and um, unfortunately, 
Um, I checked looking to check raise on the turn because I'm trying to make up for my mistake on the flop. <laughs> um, in hindsight, it was a bad idea. Um, so, uh, so we go to the river and the river is the seven of diamonds. So I lead out obviously because I'm trying to get value from some king hands. And the middle position immediately raises me to 130. So um, with this raise, it smells so valuable, and I even call his hand out if you guys listen to the audio. Wouldn't you know it? He has seven full. So definitely a mistake there, checking on the turn, I <laughs> Alright, so for this hand, we have Jack-7 of hearts under the gun, and I straddle. Um, I haven't straddled much the whole night. Um, a player immediately UTG2 raises to 30, and a player on the button 3 bets him to 120. And I have no choice here but to fold. My stack is taking a beat in and I let it go. All right, so this is the last hand here. Um, as you can see, um, I'm short stacked. Uh, there were a couple of hands I didn't get to catch on video that were some bad beats. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys hear the audio here. All right, played like three hours. First session didn't go so good. I was in for 300, out for big fat zero. <laughs> the numbers will be somewhere over here. Um, the run was pretty good. Um, I got cooler twice. I had the nut flush on, on a turn, and then I got rivered with the boat. And then I had hand when I had pocket aces, and he flopped trip eights. And that was my fault because I definitely limped <laughs> with my aces. Um, overall, not a bad session. Tomorrow I'm going to play in the tournament at Live Casino, so I'll see you guys. That will be in the next video. Um, overall, have fun. Gonna go get some sleep. And see y'all later.